Hi guys, more content for you from World Fair 2022. I'm here with Colin, owner, designer, and chief bottle washer at Charlie Foxtrot Hello. Models. You would have seen some of their easier to build kits on some of our bolt action boards, but have a really extensive range. And I think it's a somewhat more interesting approach to, to how they do things. So why don't you tell us about, uh, about a few of the things that you've got here. To start with, so you've got this Spanish Mediterranean Pantal building. Yeah. Uh, I try, I try to choose the right material for um, the, the product that's on, what I'm doing. MDF is not a solution to everything. So what I did with this one, I spent ages and ages looking at um, different images of uh, the windmills. I needed the tube. So I then first sourced a tube. Yeah. So I, I found a manufacturer in the UK who could provide me with a tube. The next thing was, can you collect the size? Got a price. The next thing was then, I want to make this one. So it's been it's been sculpted old school. Right. So I went to a friend um, right. with a lathe. Oh right. Here's the drawings. Here's the Make MDF. me this on a lathe. Make me this on a lathe. So we spun this on a lathe, and mm -hmm. the next thing was then doing the maths and working out all the tiles. So I worked the tiles out, blue tacked them all on to make sure that the sum's right. Right. And then I stood back and looked at it and thought I can make it even better. And um, the next job was then the wood grain on the tiles. So off the old cane, cut them again, stuck them back on, and this here is then cardboard, plastic, what have you. Um, I was very lucky that the guy who did the uh, lathe work is, is a perfectionist, which is why I chose him. Right. Uh, this is one mil grey board, and you run your finger over that, it is just perfect. There's no step or lip there. So that was good for casting. Um, I got Tony from Debbie Water to cast him for me because his work is absolutely really top notch. And I was delighted that he got the wood grain out of this one. Yeah, the next thing I wanted to do was make the, make the sails turn. Um, the, the solution that I came up with after three or four ideas was to drill that one out and put a six mil tube in. This one's mounted on a four mil tube and it fits in perfectly. I then had to go... So it, it's snug, it's not loose. And it turns when you blow on it, uh, you know. When I, when I stuck it together, um, I then had a few dilemmas. What? Well, how do you space the windows? So I put them on a cardboard strip. Mm -hmm. You cut the windows out, put a band around, tape it, and you put the windows back in the right place. So they're all lined up perfectly. And mm -hmm. there's a similar thing to this one that's on the front here. Um, I did all that, and I cut the face, and I stood back and it still wasn't enough for me. I wanted right. a bit more flavour. Okay. So I then started looking at millstones and right. researching historical millstones. So I, I then laser cut these at six mil. Right. Um, bit of sand on it and then sent them off to Tony and said, Tony, I need another mould. Right. Uh, and right. then come up with these. Again, that was it. No, I still want more. I want it. So I then just back out with the green stuff and doing um, flower bags. Flower bags. Nice. Which went off to Tony and then mm. it went on to Kickstarter because I wasn't sure at that time is how much money am I going to spend on moulds, how yeah. many roofs do I need, yeah. um, how many cardboard tubes do I order, mm. because of course the more I order, the, ch the cheaper the unit cost is. Yes. But I didn't want to sit there with 500 cardboard tubes in my loft <laughs> and, right. and not going to use them. So I is Charlie Fox still very much a in your loft type situation? Yeah. It's in your garage. It's in your garage, yeah? Yep. That's your workshop. I double garage and I sit in there and basically what I did some years ago was I put a stud wall up and that was my shed, right? Lawnmower and push bike. Yeah. The other side was my games room, right? Big table. And then when I evolved as Charlie Fox star, the shed got emptied. Lasers went in there, drilled a big hole in the wall for the smoke to go out. Right. And um, the games room they became a packing and storing room. And then when my mates come round. Clear the table and we're playing. <laughs> and you're still playing there. Oh, yeah. oh nice, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the things that I think is really is different. So you do make, you know, so this is your new world tap. This is a big building and it's a fairly involved kit to put oh, yeah. this together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's something you might find from many MDF companies. But to talk about that windmill that like you said, you when you buy that kit, you get this. Right? You, you get your cardboard tube which is pre-cut with your door in. 
And what I like about it, and your resin top that you mentioned, is you've not just forced it all to be made out of MDF. Is no. you've looked, you've looked at it, it's like, is MDF the right solution for this round windmill? No. no so not. you're gonna get, but the kit comes with, then say go away and get this stuff. No, no. You've, you said, this is gonna work, I've tried it out. Yeah, the cut MDF pieces is some of it, but where it's appropriate and stuff for something like that, you provide those other materials. That, that's the idea, yeah. I mean, none of my kits, I think, are pure MDF. A lot of them are, they've got plastic compartments to them. Well, uh, yeah, I remember the, chimneys, even in tiny little buildings yeah, that you do, you've got little bits of plastic, plastic tubing tube. that come in there, it's, yeah. It's the right material for the right job. Yeah. My, my history was I was teaching product design at school. Right. Um, and it was invariably I'm doing GCC or A-level course, right? Because, well, why are you using that material? It's the wrong material. You should use this material for the right job. Yeah, and that kind of ethos is really stuck with me, and I use that for all of my kids. I, mean, I, I was chatting to uh, Richard Clark some years back, mm -hmm. and he was saying that he wanted a, a small church for his peninsula wall table. Yeah, and, and I'm going, yes, Richard, yeah, he'll do that. I said, but I'm not doing it without a bell. Right. So then I had to go and source a bell, yeah. which I then sandwiched up in this one, and basically is then how do you hang it? Well, it's three layers. Um, it's a cocktail stick, you thread it through and just sandwich it in. But the kit comes with the bell? It does. The yeah, kit yeah. comes with the bell and the bell does bell. shake? It does shake indeed. It doesn't yeah. ring though. It doesn't ring? That would be a big ask in this game. It girl. would be a big ask. But again, on this one, um, I layered it up and it's double skin here. Right. So, so that allows resin. you to give that feature behind? Put the resin chips that go in. So these are pre-cast resin components. Right. The outer skin's got a hole in it. And the inner lining hasn't, so it just... Oh, so as a... If I want to get this textured set, when I buy your kit, do I have to do this myself? Yeah, that's, on, that's with polyfiller and sand. That's polyfiller and sand, but, but you have on land tip. Yeah, yeah, this is step step how you do this. Step. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, yeah. The, the difficult bit, which is doing these, that's pre-done for you. Right, and that, and that fits in behind the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But invariably, but this, it's, it's extremely easy, but... I think the benefit of me doing so I experiment, mm. and if it works, I've documented, I photograph it, I put it on the website. Yeah. I can then sing about it. Yeah. If it doesn't work, yeah, it goes in the bin. I don't tell anyone. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So, for example, with, with these penthouse style buildings, you've done the, the roofs in different ways over the year. What I've got is a range of roofs, and I try to make the, the booms look different mm. um, by disguising the fact it is the same roof. So, you put them on the table, and you don't automatically think, well, there's three houses there that look the same because they're different orientation, or they've got this, this right, frontage on yeah. it, or whatever. Or well, the church has got a big, uh, the the big, the big front, yeah. You don't notice that it's the same roof. Right. But you, you can get away with all of it. Hence, me having yeah. four different styles to get a variety of buildings. The latest thing I'm working on, um, and it's proven to be very difficult. Oh, really? Um, Pants on ruins. Oh, th this but trashed? Yes, for Sicily, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hours and hours and hours old school sculpting. Um, You're not happy with it? No. You're not Ponty control, it just got, no, I'm not doing that. Right. I'm not, not really, unless so, I'm happy, I don't release it. Yeah, yeah. So okay. It's one of those things that I don't do, but I'm now experimenting with doing CAD drawings and trying to get a 3D printing going. Oh, and really? You think that might be something? And then do it 3D printing, either for the master or for just having 3D prints to go on the route. But ruined pantiles, I think, would be And then you'll be able to make nice. so many more of these subcomponents. Yeah. But the, the idea would be from that is having, say, five, six different um, roof sections, mm -hmm. and then you'd be able to interdisperse them and move them around. And just and damage up the one that you want, or whatever, well, yeah. They'll, they'll yeah. all be damaged, but you use different ones, you use them on this side, and you can use them on that side, and, and different buildings, different locations. Yeah. So when you stand and look at the vista, you don't have a pattern. Yes, what I do. it's a pattern that repeats. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't want that because that, yeah. that would look too contrived. So Absolutely. That, that's where I'm working at the minute. That, and of course my rivers, uh, rivers and streams, which again I've been great fun doing. Yeah. Lovely. So uh, and the, the, the rivers and streams stuff you're working on now is like a part of your bacage scenery. Uh, well, the rivers and streams, um, be for any theatre really. Mm -hmm. I'm even going to, oddly enough, going to use the river in the, in the um, North African campaign, but it's going to be dried up as a wadi. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's going to work really nicely. But that's, so that's a project. Again, you're, la you're largely kind of buying MDF shapes with a few extra components, but yeah. there's detailed online instructions how yeah. you turn that into yes. what you can see yeah, on there, yeah. and that's with relatively accessible components like varnish. Yeah, gloss varnish, and emulsion house of paints and yeah. paint shop in uh, epoxy resin. So yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'm trying to make it accessible to everybody. The last thing I want to say about Charlie Fox, if you haven't used them before, if you're using movement trays, 
We love your movement trays. Thank you. Because you cut the bases slightly smaller than the hole in the movement tray, which okay. means when you painted it, it still fits in. Uh, I'll stop you there. I'll cut the hole slightly larger than Oh, that. you do it the other way around? Okay. So you've yeah. got a 25 mil base. You've got a 25 mil base. So if you buy it from a base from anywhere else, it will still fit in my it's, tray comfortably. Yeah, That's yeah. But your trays, the holes are slightly wider than 25 mil. It's yeah. that, that way around. Yeah, Look, yeah. I, 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 I love your stuff. You've got several of your buildings and I've seen every set already. It's been really nice to chat. Likewise. Thanks Thank a lot. And thank you for watching. Bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.